Hello and welcome to Tidbeats. My name is Constantine and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to liven up a hi-hat track. I've already prepared a little beat as you can hear. Uh, it consists of a kick, the hi-hats, a bass line and a polysynth playing some chords. Before we dive into the actual MIDI programming, let's take a quick look at the hi-hat patch itself. I'm using Bidwig's own uh, e-hat synthesizer. The biggest difference from the default patch is probably that I significantly increased the attack to soften the hi-hat, but I also played around with the comb, the modulation and the FM hit. Next, let's take a look at the effects chain. In my effects chain, I have a bit 8 that gives the hi-hat a little more crunch, but that can also often introduce some unwanted low-end information. So next in my chain is EQ that removes the low-end and dips the upper mids a bit. Afterwards, I'm running this uh, through an effects layer, which outputs the dry signal at full volume and mixes in reverb and delay in parallel. And lastly, I'm running this through the saturator just for a tiny bit of heart clipping. With that out of the way, let's focus on the actual programming of the hi-hats. As you can see, I have a quarter note clip that is looping over the course of four bars. Let's open this up and start with adjusting the velocities of each individual hat. As you can hear, that already makes a huge difference and that's because the e-head synthesizer is set up to be velocity sensitive. So. What happens here is that the amplitude of the hi-hats with the lower velocity is reduced compared to the ones with high velocity. Next, I want to consolidate the clip and actually introduce some chaos to have even more variety. For that, we are using Bitwig's velocity histogram and simply introduce some chaos. Now we basically have a pattern that's never quite the same over the course of uh, four bars. Next, let's introduce an expression modulator on the e-hat and use the velocity to bring in even more change. First thing I want to do is I want to give the hi-hat that plays the loudest a sharper attack to make it poke out even more. So I'm using the velocity modifier to reduce the attack time. That sounds quite good. Then I also want to introduce a bit more of the comb section. And lastly, we're gonna introduce a bit more of the FM portion as well. That just makes the hi-hat a little sharper. There we go, that sounds quite nice. Let's listen to the difference. Maybe dial it back a bit. I actually like the soft nature of the hi-hats before. Next, I also want to increase the decay time of the louder hats. That sounds quite lovely. And then, of course, we can also use the expression modulator to modulate any parameter within our FX chain. So let's also play with the chance modulator a bit because that makes a huge impact on the sound.
But we don't have to stop there. There is theoretically three other expressions that we can work with. And I want to use a timbre to also adjust the sound a bit. So let's go in here and use the histogram to introduce some chaos and see what we can come up with. Maybe we can change the frequency of the comb a bit. And we are talking about small adjustments. We want the pattern to be repetitive, but not static. The last change I want to make, and that only works for Bidwig's internal synthesizers, is I want to take advantage of the pan histogram, because Bidwig actually allows you to store panning information on a per node basis. By default, all nodes are pan center, but again, we're just going to introduce some chaos to get a bit of motion from left to right. just to widen up that sound and then maybe you can reduce the spread just a bit. One more time, introducing a bit more chaos. I wanna still keep it mostly centered. And then using shift, I'm gonna make sure that on average, the hi-hats are all pan center, but basically distributed a bit left and right from that. And that's how you can take a very simple, quite static hi-hat pattern and really liven it up. And that's all I had for today. Please consider subscribing and see you next time.